loading these colts today. Two main things that people do when they try to load horses, and the main thing is they don't load them until they're fixing to go somewhere. And then when the horse don't jump right in, well, the fight's on. And if you just take a little bit of time and start thinking about it before you want to go somewhere, it'll work a lot better. Got a little deal here I made. A little step up for them, it's got that hollow sound to it. Of course, it's kind of a claustrophobic animal. But if you get them jumping up on something like that, they, they're out in the open, you know, they're not hemmed in anywhere. They, they get to use that stepping up and they kind of hear that old hollow sound. Just a little old thing that sure helps. And uh, we're going to step him up on here. I've done this with him two or three times. I've never tried to load him in the trailer, we'd run him in the trailer a time or two with other horses, but this would be his first time doing that. So we'll see how it goes from here. here comes. This is another thing that a lot of people do. When they get a horse up to something and don't want to come, the first thing they do is pull his head down. Get their head up and you know, they try to pull them. And they ain't got to pull them in anyway. If you pull their head up where they can't see where they're going, then they damn sure they get close and get in the little pack of this. Another thing I do when I start this, I'll, I'll get them to back them off of this thing. And it's just a step down. A lot of horses, when they go on a back off the trailer, why it kind of scares them. It's just a Kind of a little short step here and it just gets them, gets them started, gets them a little confident. Remember, don't pull their head up. Let them be able to see where they're going. That's yeah, pretty decent. All right, come on over here, buddy. Let's see about the trail. That's another thing when you kind of take a little time with them when they're stepping down the first time or two. Try to watch they don't jump in the middle of you. Okay, another thing I do, I'll try to get a little run at them. And I don't, I don't want to, like I said again, don't try to pull them in. And I like to just sort of walk. And don't stand and, seem like if you, you know, most people will walk in the trailer, the first thing they'll do is turn around and stare at them in the eye. And you do that and it just seems to kind of make them a little nervous. I just try to just kind of walk and, See if they'll follow me. They might, they might not. We'll see. Come here. Come Get them up here and just kind of fool with them a little bit. See, this isn't a bad place to be. This isn't bad. Okay, come on. Again, kind of watch when they come out here. They might jump, and we'll make sure they don't jump on top of you. Come on, buddy. Hmm. That's pretty good. I usually don't do this for a time or two. I'll just see if I can set him on. He might go like that. Who knows? We'll try. Get her to I'll tell you what. A lot of times, if a guy has a colt that just won't lead and you don't have any help, a guy can just tie a little slip knot over there in this deal and use your uh, tailgate for a wing and just get behind them just a little whip, just kind of touch them, fool with them until they do go. Uh, that works pretty good on those spoiled horses.
this just works pretty good. Like I say, it doesn't be like that. Make something like that. Don't take no time on top of that line. And it works pretty good. Yeah, it's good, yeah.